Hola, mi amo Ramon Esteves, a.k.a. Martin Sheen. I am the co-author of the father-son memoir, Along the Way. Emilio was right. I had no intention of letting him leave the Philippines before production ended. When you grow up the son of an actor, you get used to seeing your father come and go. I'm Emilio Estevez, and uh, I'm the co-author of Along the Way for Audible.com. What is Along the Way about? About 400 pages. <laughs> The feeling when I was born, my parents have told me, was that it was the three of us against the world. It's a father-son memoir of basically a lifelong relationship. Emilio wrote and directed a film called The Way, and he wrote the part of his father for me. And we were asked to consider doing a book based on our experience with the film. It was yeah. just going to be about the film. Yeah. Essentially. Just a, a companion piece yeah. to the film. Yeah. And then it became... So what happened there? The Blob. The Blob starring Martin the Sheen. Oh, that's a... <laughs> the remake. <laughs> <laughs> what later became known between us as the Paris sidewalk incident was a watershed moment for both of us. We learned about a scene between uh, Emilio and, and Larry Fishburne before he was... Lawrence. Lawrence. Thwarting Dennis Hopper's assassination <laughs> to 14-year-old kids. As he and my mother were reading through some of my chapters, they said, but what do you mean an assassination attempt of Dennis Hopper? Well, you never told us about that. I felt a rush of deep, crippling disappointment mixed with anger and resentment as I watched him disappear into the crowd. How could he do this to me? And then I felt a rush of something else, pride. I was proud of him for taking a stand and walking away. When we came in here to read, we read, read separately. I thought we'd be reading together, but we read mercifully, separately. Mercifully, mercifully, yeah, that yeah. didn't, uh, we'd that still, didn't happen. We'd, we'd still be on chapter chapter one. Yeah, right? exactly. Couldn't so, be in the same room together. And and yeah. which is a lot about what the book's about. What? <laughs> I grew up wanting to make sure that someone had their backs, even if that meant me. They had each other's backs, but it seemed like no other adults had them covered, not for a long time. Having this book out through audible.com, I think is great. I think it's, uh, it's another delivery system for not only the book, but for people who are not familiar with the film. Other fathers and sons who may have, been, who may have gone through similar issues. These struggles are universal. Emilio became the strong person for me that day. I owe him that moment in Paris when he had the courage and the strength to walk away. I hope that they'll also be encouraged about their own relationships with their children and or their, their parents. But I hope that people are going to read it on long drives. Cause I, that, or you listen know, to it on or, long drives. Uh, yeah. If they're reading on long drives, they're going to get in a wreck. Yeah, the guy in the back seat could be reading it, <laughs> and the guy in the front could be listening to see if we got it right. I mean, that's, yeah, a, that's, yeah, an, that's an idea. Yeah, yeah. I started to get strong again in body, mind, and spirit. I still had a long way to go, of course, but it was a start. Thanks to Emilio, it was a start. <laughs>